faces in 3D. It's the Hollywood circle of life. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of The Lion King 3D. <laughs> When Tangled hit theaters last year and made Princess Tiana look like she'd turned back into a frog, it seemed to be the final nail in the coffin for hand-drawn animation. But can Disney really allow that to happen? After all, it's the house that Mickey built and Mickey was conceived via pencil and paper. Furthermore, while 3D animated movies have left 2D animated ones in the dust, Disney still has three ink and paint cards up its sleeve. The first two are The Lion King and Aladdin, the only hand-drawn films that remain in the top 20 grossing animated films of all time. The third is Beauty and the Beast, the first animated film to ever be nominated for Best Picture. So what better way to remind audiences about these major achievements and pump some juice back into them than to render them in 3D? Beauty and the Beast 3D just wrapped up a limited engagement at the El Capitan Theater in Hollywood, while starting this weekend for two weeks only, you can see The Lion King 3D at a theater near you. But do you want to? Audiences had never been taken with 3D post-conversions, and how do you add dimension to something that was flat to begin with? Plus, while re-releasing their animated films was once a steady stream of revenue for Disney, DVDs and streaming have dried that resource up. Then again, The Lion King truly enchanted all audiences when it was first released in 1994. Will Mufasa's roar in 3D bring them to theaters once more? Let's go find out. Have you ever seen The Lion King before? Yes. Yes. Yes, uh, oh. yes yeah? I saw it when it first came out. No. What did you think of it? I liked it. So Danny, you paid to see The Lion King again in theaters. Yes. Was it worth the money? The 3D wasn't, but seeing it again in theaters, yes. It was definitely worth the money. Oh, wow. Why yeah. was it? I don't know, it, it kind of recaptured my um, my childhood. It was nice, you know, revisiting the old jungle. It's in 3D and I get to sing along with the song, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I figured, you know, why not? I see it in 3D and just reminisce of the old days. I wanted to see it in 3D to see if there was any difference in the, you know, the first theatrical showing and the home version and all that. Was there? Yeah, I mean, uh, when the lions leap, they leap right in your face. Oh, they do? The 3D was really good. I'm not one who's crazy about 3D, but the 3D in this was actually really good. It didn't meet up my expectations. Oh, it didn't. What were you no. expecting? Something, I don't know, magical, I think. I guess, what did you get? Maybe. Mediocre. So it's crazy. It's like a 2D animated flat movie. How did they make it 3D? I have no idea. <laughs> did it, it feel doubled. Did it feel like 3D, though? It didn't yeah. feel like just a storybook no, pop-up? not at all. Well, animation has really changed since 1994. Do you think for the better? Do you like animated movies today? I like some of them, but I don't know. Some of them I feel like they don't even try. I like the old style drawings, the fact that it has more details and more includings. Instead now it's all computerized, you're losing all the basic things and it's, it's kind of sad. The 3D thing, the Pixar thing is kind of getting played out. Not by Pixar, but by DreamWorks and all of those. A lot of competition. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you like better, like uh, movies like this that's hand drawn or like computer animated movies like Shrek? Which one do you like better? Shrek. Shrek? You like Shrek better? What do you like better? Like Shrek or The Lion King? Lion King. Really? Oh, wow. This is the kind of movie that the themes and um, everything about it just resonates. It's worth it. I don't think it's fair for them to have it only there for two weeks. I don't think it's fair. Yeah? Not everyone can see it, so I don't think it's fair. It's coming out on DVD in about a month. You think you might get it? Should people pay to see this in theaters or wait for the DVD? They should just wait for the DVD. Why not? You know, at your own home, just to relax and see it. Yeah. I say see it. If you have kids, see it. I saw it in theaters, and I'm gonna buy the Blu-ray. So I think people should do both. If you're a big fan of it, or if you've never seen it for the first time. What do you give The Lion King on a one to ten, the 3D version? Oh, uh, I give it a seven. Eight. An eight? Yeah. Seven point five. The film is a ten. The 3D is a nine. Ten. Ten. I give it a ten. Ten. I would give it a nine point five. Ah, excellent. Yeah. Oh, that's great. You're a yeah. big Lion King fan. Yeah. That's great. That's the highest score you've ever given on here. <laughs> <laughs> While they might be divided on the 3D, overall audiences can still feel the love tonight as they give the Lion King 3D a 9. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.